My name is Mike Wilcox and I live in Auckland over in Mangaree Bridge. Well, it goes back to 2005 when I became a volunteer here and from then on I progressed to the position of research associate and became more of a specialist here on the seaweed collection. In New Zealand, we have something like 900 species of seaweeds, and Auckland has about half of that number. Our diversity is explained by having two coasts, east and west, and a range of shorelines like uh, sheltered harbours and out to the fully exposed shores. So because of that diversity of habitat, I think we've got the uh, amazingly rich flora for a, a place like Auckland. specimen is of a red alga known as Humbrella hydra. It's kind of mushy and underwater it has these sort of tentacles. And uh, so it was, the first name it had was Pseudo Anemonia tentacular. In this case, a scuba diver collected this. He was 10 meters underwater where he found it off the coast of Lee. And then he, he would, probably didn't know what it was at that point, but then he, he had to try and identify what it was. And, uh, and then prepare, prepare it for preservation. So he very carefully splayed out all the tentacles, drying them very, very carefully, so nothing was damaged. And of course he, he mounted, he, he dried them on the very sheet that they're on now. So because once they're on there, you can't pull them off. They're stuck there by their, own, by their own glue. And it's got a little stem there, a little stalk, quite a strange looking thing. And then from that point, of course, once it's collected and dried, and identification's important. Then it has to be labelled with all the details. This one says exactly where it was, 10 metres underwater, and collected in December 19, 1974 by Kay Johnson, Carl Johnson. He was based at the Marine Lab at Lee and did a lot of underwater work collecting and observing. Final thing, it goes into our database at the museum with a, a number on it, AK337496. And that's, that's now its official number plate, its barcode, if you like, and that, that'll now be out, not only in our computer database here, but out uh, on the internet, on collections online. Really bad incident I had in all this e exercise was, uh, it happened on the Manukau Harbour and I slipped badly on some very slimy cyanobacteria. It went flat over on my back, and I thought I'd broken my back, but it was actually, in fact, I'd broken my ribs. And it, this, I managed to crawl up and, and get to a doctor. And uh, so I've been very, very careful ever since. If you make a mistake like that, you learn quickly. Be careful where you walk. This is the book that's just been released, The Seaweeds of Auckland and uh, it's taken 15 years to prepare, but it's finally here. <laughs>